1, 2, 3. Ja. Doe maar. Ja. Okay guys, I hope you really liked my first vertical takeoff with this very, very big testing frame. <laughs> Just to give you an impression, it's 1 meter and 60 centimeters. Look how massive this EDF is. So I wanted to give you guys a short explanation. So lean back, relax, take a cup of coffee because I'm going to do a walk around how this uh, model works. So let's start with the setup. We are using a 2 times 130 millimeters uh, EDF, one from Schubler, one from Vasa. Um, in the future, yeah, let's see which is the most eff efficient motor. But for now, for the setup, it doesn't uh, matter which brand I'm using. Um, so the Vasa uses a 180 millimeter, or um, I'm sorry, 180 amps ESC. The front one uses a 160. Amps ESC, the reason why this back motor needs to push harder compared to the front motor because when you're going into transition, the 3 BSM is angled. So, um, let's start with this cool 3 BSM design of mine. Uh, we are using a 3 BSM controller with two count servos from Hitech. Thank you, Eric, for the nice software. Uh, for stabilization, believe it or not, I'm still using the old KK2 board. But yeah, I got like 200 of these, so I can go forward. And of course, I'm using my Jetty uh, transmitter and receiver. So as you can see, the model is now set up in forward flight mode. For safety reasons, I disconnected both ESCs because this baby can push more than 12 kilos. Um, if you look closer here, we got the bleed air channels that provides the roll nozzles for roll authorization. And for pitch authorization, we use thrust deferential by the front and the back EDF. So I got here the switch. So when I switch it to hover mode, you can see that the 3BSM tilted 90 degree downwards. And for draw control, we can simply use tilt the entire duct. So moving forward, um, here we have our 
servos for the bleed air channels. And these are also working really nice. And when I flip the model, it's responding to roll authorization. As same for jaw. So flipping it back to forward flight mode. goes really easily. Let's flip the switch again. Amazing. So our base setup is done. I will make some more test flights for you guys. Also for me to gain more stability, to tune the PID settings. And I'm looking forward to continue this build. For now, um, this Test frame is light enough, so I'm running on an 8S setup from Stefan Lippo Shop. Uh, and we can upgrade it up to 14S. So I can't imagine how much pressure we need. So I, I believe that the fuselage won't be that heavy. Approximately weight of this test frame is uh, 4.5 kilos, including the Lipos. And it's looking really stunning. Even the landing gear, which are printed from the form labs, holds. So when I unlock it, <laughs> it's amazing, huh? So if you have any questions how this model is built or how it's programmed, or if you want to have some more details about the KK 2.1, just let me know in the comment sections, guys. Our next step is to continue working on the internal uh, designs. All these parts are cut out of 3 millimeters plywood. Um, as you can see, I made a lot of progress. And it's getting really, really awesome. So the next step is actually to add all the interior parts like the air inlet, a lift fan hood, all those 17 doors and design all the mechanical work what is needed to transform it really from hover to a forward flying model. So this is the design. I worked really hard last week, as you can see, but I'm really proud. So I cannot wa wait to uh, use the X tool to cut all those bulkheads, all those internal parts from plywood. Looking forward to push this uh, laser machine to the limit. So it's gonna be epic guys. I can't say it enough or ask you enough. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these builds. It really helps the channel grow. Yeah, nog een keer. Helemaal naar voren. Nog meer. Doe me helemaal recht, Thomas. Nog meer naar voren. Ha, 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 ha.